Hi class! Welcome to week four. This is your week four video. The expectations for week four are reading chapters in your book 10, 15, 16, 17, and 20. Of course your spiritual life discussion question, your week four discussion form, um, submitting objectives for week four, and you'll just continue working on your ALP project and continue working on your team assignment. So this week will hopefully be kind of one of those weeks where you can either catch up or focus on some other things that you have to do in your life because I know that working and going to school is a um, challenge at times. Anyway, so week four means that we are quickly approaching the halfway mark. I am really excited about that. I am. It does make me sad too because um, that means I'll be. I won't be working with you. However, it does mean a good thing for you because this is one step closer to your goal of finishing. So some of the things and topics that we're going to talk about this week include um, the World Health Organization, the purpose of the World Health Organization, um, global health concerns, and how that would affect you in any community level. I know last week a lot there was a lot of discussion about immunizations and things like that. And yeah, that is a um, global issue and can be, more importantly now, a local issue here in the United States, how some of those diseases are coming, um, becoming more of a problem than they used to be back in whenever we had a control over immunizations, a better control. And I think it's a lack of education. Um, another one of the things is describing the three P's and the three eras of health conditions that are pertinent to global and international health. I think about uh, whenever I traveled out of the United States or um, if any of you have traveled outside of the United States, especially doing things like um, I'm trying to think of the word, especially doing things like uh, mission trips and things where you have to get certain immunizations going outside of the U.S. or people from other countries coming to the U.S. that they require additional um, immunizations than they would normally require. Anyway, so this ought to be an interesting week. I look forward to hearing your discussions and your posts that you have. Um, I hope you all had a very good resurrection weekend and you spent time with family or maybe you... Uh, participated in some church services. I know our church did a, um, a pa kind of a passion play called um, Jesus Savior King. It was absolutely amazing and uh, I had a very small part on a role that I played on the first day as the nurse who bowed down before Jesus. Um, it was excellent. I had a big turnout and I enjoyed it. My husband and one of my uh, foreign exchange daughters also played in it. They were both sung in the choir, and um, my husband was a tax collector. So, anyways, I hope everything's going well with you. Uh, I answered a discussion question that was a great question, so if you want to look on the uh, discussion board, it was in regards to the ALP page requirements, the number of references requ required, that kind of question, and like I said in the post, there's no requirement for references. There's no requirement for page numbers. I do wish that you not turn in like a 20-page paper or more because I really don't want to read books on this assignment. But it should be long enough so that you can get all of your um, information in the paper. So if there's any other questions, go ahead and just send me an email or a text or post something in the discussion panel board for everyone, and um, I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. Hope you have a blessed week. I am glad that we're on week four. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.